In a shocking move, Ford CEO has just hit the brakes on their electric vehicle production, leaving the entire industry in disbelief. Jim Farley, CEO at Ford, thinks EVs are taking a toll on the middle class. In an effort to put the brakes on political leaders pushing EVs too hard, Ford has decided to shut down production, taking a hit of more than $4 billion in the process. There is more to the story. Ford is having a very difficult time selling EVs. They are now shutting down production and firing thousands of workers. In a single year, they have lost more than $5 billion and fired more than 1,000 workers within a week. It's not just Ford but GM and Tesla are also having issues. Tesla is also having a difficult time as Hertz is selling off their fleet of Tesla cars for pennies on a dollar, and this isn't good for Tesla's reputation. Furthermore, they have been cutting prices almost weekend to try to get inventory off their parking lots. This is shaping up to be the biggest automotive car crash of the century. In a shocking move, Ford has made a massive U-turn by slamming the brakes on the production of their best-selling EV pickup, the F-150 Lightning. CEO Jim Farley dropped the bombshell, announcing the shutdown of production at their Dearborn, Michigan factory. The real reason behind Ford's drastic decision might make you rethink buying an EV. Ford bought into the quote EV is the future pipe dream from the government, standing with the government and pushing EVs like there's no tomorrow. Before all this, Ford was happily churning out internal combustion engine cars until the government came along waving the EV flag, claiming it's the future. Joe Biden set emissions norms so stringent that Ford had no choice but to dive headfirst into the EV game. But here's the plot twist, despite the government's push, customers are not biting the EV bait. Ford's EVs, especially the F-150 Lightning, were supposed to be the next big thing, but they're gathering dust in dealerships like ghost towns. It's not just Ford facing this predicament, even General Motors is grappling with similar issues, thanks to their own CEO. Dealerships are screaming from the rooftops in an open letter to President Biden, we're not ready for this EV future. Ford finds itself holding the hot potato, losing a whopping $36,000 on each EV sold. The entire EV market is in chaos, with about 1,400 workers at the Rogue Electric Vehicle Center, where the Lightning is built, facing the music. Half of the workforce will be making a move to a nearby plant, revving up production for the gasoline-powered Ford Bronco and Ranger models. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, Ford's recalls. Brace yourself because it's like a recurring nightmare. Recently, Ford had to recall a whopping 35,000 Mustang Mark E EVs due to a pesky battery issue that it could zap away your driving power. And that's not the first time they've had to hit the recall button. There was a previous recall of 49,000 Mark E vehicles. It's a situation that feels like deja vu, and Ford's recalls have earned them the title of the top automaker for recalls in the U.S. for the last two years. In 2022 alone, Ford issued a staggering 68 recalls affecting over 8.7 million vehicles. The year before that, it was 53 recalls for 4.5 million cars, racking up a jaw-dropping $4 billion just to cover warranty costs. The only company that saw this coming about a year ago was Toyota. They followed their instincts while being called sellouts to the oil industry and took a completely different approach, and now they are back at the top as the most selling automaker in the world. Customers are the ones feeling the heat. Imagine buying an electric truck for $90,000, and it's been sitting idle for months now. Ford's quality issues aren't exactly breaking news. They faced their fair share of problems with new vehicle launches, and the shift to EVs is adding fuel to the fire. Almost every new Ford released recently faced costly recalls, so Ford has smartly pulled a plug on EV production. CEO Jim Farley said, enough is enough they realize their customers still have a hankering for good old gas guzzlers. As we mentioned before, Ford is not the only automaking in this mess. Another prominent player, General Motors with over 1,000 workers fired in a week, financial chaos everywhere you look. GM's CEO, Mary Barra, have not made very smart decisions during this whole debacle and whose decisions are raising more than a few eyebrows. Mary's strategy seems to be all about luxury EVs, somewhat ignoring the needs of the common man. She believes that cheaper EVs under $30,000 won't ever be profitable, so why bother? GM also slammed the brakes on their plan to build 400,000 affordable EVs by 2030 and completely scrapped their partnership with Honda. Making things worse, their cars are gaining a reputation as being some of the most unreliable vehicles out there. Reports are pouring in about software glitches, problems with the braking system leading to accidents and poor interior quality, all despite the hefty price tags customers are shelling out.
So it seems like people are giving electric vehicles the cold shoulder. Nearly half of EV buyers are waving goodbye to their electric cars and embracing the good old hybrids. That's right. There's a retreat to the familiar embrace of gas and hybrid cars. Why the sudden switch? Well, hybrids are turning heads because they're simpler, cheaper, and, let's be honest, more in line with what the average Joe and Jane can afford and handle. The average hybrid costs are around $42,318, a downright steal compared to the hefty $59,400 price tag of an EV. This is where Toyota is crushing it. Akio Toyota, the big boss at Toyota, who's been raising the alarm about the risks of going all-in on EVs. While other car makers were going gaga over electric vehicles, Toyota stood as the lone voice in the wilderness, warning everyone about the impending cliff. Toyota's mantra is clear. EVs aren't the golden ticket to carbon neutrality. Akio Toyota is all about giving consumers the choice, and he's not alone in this belief. Even Elon Musk, the EV king himself, took a $28 billion hit because of Tesla's plunging shares. The company is investing big time in some top-secret projects that could change the game. Imagine a new type of engine that promises insane mileage, like 1,000 miles on a single tank. That's like driving from New York City to Miami without stopping for gas. That is what Toyota is developing now, an ammonia engine. We can make a video on it if it interests you. Let us know in the comments below. Global investors, especially those big-shot European funds, are getting jittery, fearing that Toyota's anti-EV stance might leave them in the dust. But Toyota is standing its ground. We're reaching out with a heartfelt request on behalf of Lumen, a dear friend of the channel. Battling sickle cell disease throughout his life, Lewin has shown incredible resilience despite losing two siblings to the same condition. His health is now at a critical juncture, but there's hope, a bone marrow transplant and bilateral hip replacement. Our channel, committed to this cause, directs all proceeds to support Lewin, but the reality is our earnings are barely enough to sustain the channel, let alone the initiative. This is where your generosity can make a tangible difference. We're immensely grateful for the donations received so far and encourage you to contribute to Loon's treatment linked below. Every donation brings us closer to giving Loon the chance he deserves for a healthier future. Thank you for standing with us in this vital mission. EVs have almost 80% more repair issues than good old gas or hybrid cars. Imagine shelling out a fortune for a brand new EV only to face a barrage of problems, battery not charging, rattling noises from the body, you name it. Repairs on these high-tech machines can cost you an arm and a leg. We're not talking a few hundred bucks, we're talking a monstrous $60,000 bill for a tiny scratch on your EV. It's like buying a new car just to fix the old one. And if you think that's bad, there's a guy in Canada who faced a jaw-dropping $50,000 bill just to replace his Tesla's bad battery. Replacing an EV battery can cost you almost as much as buying a brand new car. When it comes to charging, it's an absolute mess, to put it mildly. During the winter, these cars lose their juice faster than you can say charge. We're talking about a drop of up to 41% in range just because it's cold. Imagine your phone dying on you when you need it the most. To make things worse, charging stations are either broken or so crowded you'd think they're giving away gold for free. This leaves EV owners stranded, regretting their switch from reliable gas cars. Shifting to EVs catching fire. These vehicles are particularly prone to spontaneous explosions. Even Teslas, which are the most advanced and successful EVs, still face this problem. There are stories where a Tesla Model S turned into a fireball after a crash, trapping the owner inside. This isn't a freak accident. EVs catching fire has become a chilling reality, thanks to its lithium-ion batteries. When they go wrong, they go really wrong, leading to fires or even explosions. And it's not just fires, EVs are plagued with software glitches. BW has been hit hard by recalls, and even GM's Cadillac Lyric got recalled, and they weren't exactly flying off the shelves. Range anxiety and sky-high prices is also a very real concern for buyers. When you have to shell out a whopping $20,000 more than a hybrid to get an EV, you would still have to then drive it for at least 60,000 miles just to start saving money. It's a steep hill to climb. So, here's the bottom line, the EV market is a downright mess right now. If you're thinking of buying an EV, my advice is to hold off. Stick to gas or hybrids for the time being. Ford seems to have heard the customers loud and clear. They're back to combustion cars, ramping up production of gas-powered Broncos and Rangers, creating jobs, and getting back to what they do best. Despite these challenges, the government is still stuck on EVs. 
They're pushing for 67% of all new vehicles to be EVs by 2030, and Ford's decision to cut back on EVs is a significant blow to this plan. It's a reality check. Ford and GM, like many other automakers, are discovering that transitioning to EVs is no walk in the park. The Biden administration is acting as a coach pushing for a new game plan with strict emissions rules. We made a video about the best cars coming this 2024 in case you were shopping for a vehicle this year checking out. Until the next one, thanks for watching.